Greetings, fellow descendants. With the new update, Hotfix uh, version 1.0.4, uh, we have an update to the outpost situation. What a tedious grind it was, having to wait five minutes for an outpost to respawn, having to go zone to zone, hopefully you could find one that respawns quickly, hopefully you found one that's just ready to go, just to get your hands on those amorphous materials. But now, it's only a minute. It, they dropped it from five minutes to one minute. Grinding your amorphous materials and doing your infiltration missions has become a lot easier, a lot faster to do. But I know some some people have been having trouble with infiltration, infiltration, what it means, what it does, and in general have been maybe not really understanding what it is that Sharons are doing when they're doing these outposts. So I'm going to go ahead and go over what an infiltration mission is, how it's done, and show you what you need to do. But first off, let's talk about Sharon. Sharon is the only one who can do infiltration missions because she has the active camouflage skill. Active camouflage puts her into a stealth state for 10 second base duration. I have a couple of mods to bring it up to 16 second duration, so that way it's a lot easier to do these missions. But you can, if you don't have the mods available, you can break a couple, step out, hide, and go back in when your stealth is back up. But investing into just a couple of these mods so that you can do this mission easier is not a bad idea. There are no other stealth characters, so Sharon is the only one who can do infiltration missions. So what is an infiltration mission? Well, when you go into one of these normally, I will show you, you just run in and you break these and the enemies attack you and that's all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just reset real quick. And if you do, if you do accidentally get caught, your stealth fails or something and you get caught, just leave, let the mission fail, and then just get back into position. And all you have to do is stealth. And when you're stealth, you have access to this uh, sort of interactive interaction where you can operate the device and you will just shatter it. It's easier than shooting them down and is very quick once you understand what you're doing. And with this, you now have access to the infiltration rewards upon completion of this um, outpost. Okay, so as you can see, it's now 51 seconds remaining. I killed it, about 10 seconds went by as I collected my stuff and ran down to the bottom here. The outposts are now only on a one minute cooldown, much easier to manage, much faster. And if you look, so your base reward options are the amorphous material pattern 54, which is now up from a 20% chance to a 25% chance. They buffed those slightly. If you scroll down, you can see additional reward for successful infiltration. If you do the infiltration as opposed to just jumping in and guns ablazing, killing everything, if you do the infiltration, you have a chance of getting an additional amorphous material pattern 55 from this mission. So you can get a 54 and a 55. The amorphous material fi pattern 55 does not come from anywhere else except this mission from infiltration. So if you want specific amorphous materials, you will need to do infiltration missions. So you will need to be able to pick up Sharon or play with other people who are doing these as Sharon. So how do you get Sharon? Well, all of Sharon's pieces, if you go to Access Info, Descendants, Sharon, and Sharon is acquired, Sharon's uh, enhanced cells are acquired from the normal seed vault uh, in Echo Swamp. It's a dungeon mission. Her stabilizer comes from the Echo Swamp Normal Chapel mission. Her spiral catalyst comes from the Agna Desert Normal Asylum mission. And her code comes from the Agna Desert Normal Caligo Ossuary. So if you just do these normal missions uh, a couple of times, you'll probably get the pieces you need. I know some people have, were a little bit unlucky and got a lot of other things before they got the Sharon part. But just grind these until you get your Sharon pieces. You only need to, once you acquire these, you can then build Sharon outright. You don't need to craft these small pieces. You don't need to craft the spiral catalyst, the stabilizer, or the enhanced cells. Um, like you do for others, you just have to gather, gather these and then craft as a whole, just like you did with Bunny, just like you can do with Blair. So if you want to do, if you want to maximize your chances of getting items that you want, get Sharon so you can do infiltrations for the outposts.
Okay, so I showcased a three machine infiltration. This one I'm going to showcase a four machine infiltration and how you can do it. Sometimes you need to do a little bit of quick maneuvering to get through, especially if you uh, only have a little bit of duration increase. So you make your way as close as you can without being seen. Enter into camouflage. Hop over. Break. Zip line. Jump. Break. Zip line. Jump. Break. Hop the fence, break, and now you're on to the killing. And it's as easy as that. If you're ever in one that has a really large area, just remember you can use your zip line, your grappling hook when in, um, when you're in stealth. If you grapple onto a, if you grapple onto the ground like so, you can do a little hop and give you a little extra um, distance from it. When you get a little bit of that distance, you can use it to pop yourself forward enough to get to the spots a lot faster. As opposed to just standing here, pop, roll, roll, pop. You can just do stand here, pop, and pop. And it makes it go by a lot faster. And since you're probably going to be doing these a lot, uh, just being able to get used to that kind of speed and those maneuvering will help get these done pretty smooth, and uh, get your rewards a lot faster. So get to it, get grinding, and have fun. Also, if you are out and about, and you run into a Sharon doing an outpost, just sit back. Wait for them to break the machines, wait for them to finish the infiltration aspect of it, and once the boss spawns, you can go in, guns a-blazing, and help them kill the boss and get, and get extra, and get your rewards. Do not just run in guns a-blazing, interrupting their infiltration, that is going to just drive every Sharon player, anyone who wants to grind this to private lobbies, just don't. And if you are a Sharon player and you have been and you have run into this and you want it to stop and you don't already know, if you go ahead and go to your map up here in the top corner here where it says private right now, normally it would say public. So if I were to go ahead and just click on sterile land, for instance, for instance, I can click this to public. And if I load into this area, I will load into a public zone. You can do the same thing to go into a private zone so that you can get away from anyone if they're trying to mess up your grinding or if you just don't worry, want to worry about the hassle. Feel free to go into, into private zones if you want to, but just anybody, if you're out and about in a public zone and you run up to an outpost and you see a Sharon trying to do infiltration, just wait for them to do it, wait for the boss to spawn, then attack. Don't drive every Sharon to private lobbies. If there's somebody who wants to do it publicly, if there's somebody who's trying to share the rewards, if there's somebody who's trying to, you know, do that, just let them be. Uh, that's really all I have to say on the topic with regards to Outposts and Sharon. Enjoy the amorphous material grind. It's so much faster and easier to do now. You can get all the stuff you need at a much more consistent rate. I'm really glad that they made this adjustment. And uh, yeah, now you just have to worry about grinding and the drop chance for it, which thankfully they boosted, but it's still low. So you're going to be grinding for those for a while, but now it's a little bit easier at least. So with that said, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this video. Um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be doing another, I'm going to be doing a void shard and void fusion reactor video next uh, to sort of combo with this idea. So that way you have all the information regarding farming your amorphous materials from the outpost, then unlocking them. But that'll be for a video for next week. Uh, be on the lookout for that. But thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you have anything else that you want maybe a guide video for, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any questions regarding the game, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.